What's going on Rock Squad and if you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Boldini and uh, today marks half of my life on YouTube. I've spent 12 years making videos on YouTube now. It's crazy to think that I've lived a whole other lifetime, you know? Like I started these when I was 12 and now I'm 24. Still pulling out a camera and talking to myself. Beginning to think I'm a little bit delusional, but you know, I mean that's kind of what, yeah, you know, being delusional is not all that bad. No, but honestly, like, I i mean, the last 12 years have been wild, you know? I've done a bunch of stuff that I wanted to do when I was a kid. You know, VidCon and all these different, can just just a whole bunch of stuff has happened the last 12 years, and it's, it's crazy to think that most of it is, you know, because of me making videos. And you could argue and say, like, oh, you're still under 4,000 subscribers in 12 years. That's kind of pathetic. And I'm like, yeah, you know, it is what it is. I've never... Like, I, I was consistent in high school, right? I uploaded a ton. I'm not saying I peaked in high school on YouTube. Like, I, I it's been... I, I look at my YouTube journey as a whole as just me kind of growing up, documenting every so often, you know what I mean? It all started out just making weird-ass videos. I mean, I could kick myself in the ass for deleting the videos that I did. I deleted at least over a hundred of my old videos because when I would get made fun of I was like oh I don't want people to see that and I didn't know you could privatize them at the time it would have been good to know because I had a whole Minecraft Pocket Edition series and all these just just weird videos that I would make with my friends and everything like that and it'd be cool to be able to look back on and share today but I do not have them anymore, sadly. For instance, the 12 years ago today, I decided to grab a lemon and draw a face on it. And then I talked to it like it was my best friend and danced around with it until it died. And I drew a dead face on it, and then uh, that was the video. That's where it all started. And then tomorrow, September 4th, is my dad, Six String Stanger. It's his birthday. Go wish him a happy birthday. Go subscribe to his channel. He's closing in on 10K, so that's insane to think, you know? Taught my dad everything he knows about YouTube. He passed me up now, but it's all good. It's all right. For real, my dad's over there grinding. Go show him some love. Tell him I sent you and stuff like that. But yeah, 12 years ago tomorrow, on my dad's birthday, I took a piece of birthday cake and I put my hands behind my back and I ate it with my face for a video. It was about four minutes, I think, which got deleted. So that's fun. And who could forget my childhood cat, Lucky Panda, Lucky Alexander Panda. Because we didn't know it was a she until like the last week of her life, God bless. I made a series, well I guess, I had two of them. They were called Catman. The thumbnails were completely unrelated. It was like, I would look up, I'd literally go to Google, look up Catman. Whatever picture popped up, that would be the thumbnail of the video. The whole thing of the video was like, me running away from my cat, and then my cat's like trying to kill me in the video. So like, and my cat would come around a corner and I'd act like it's dragging me and... You know, it was, it was a weird, it was a weird time. I was, I was a very excited 12 year old with a camera on my iPod Touch, and I was like, I can make YouTube videos, because I, I watched iCarly, and then it changed my whole brain chemistry to like want to film. So, yeah, shout out Miranda Cosgrove. I know you're definitely watching this, and uh, Jeanette McCurdy, Jerry Trainer. You know, like hit me up sometime. And I think it was around, I think it was summer of 2013. I got absolutely obsessed with Minecraft. And I uh, just want to say a quick shout out to the homie Brandon. You know, he, he taught me everything. I, I'll always give him credit for this. Taught me everything I know about Minecraft. He taught me how to sprint in Minecraft. I would put up on Facebook my IP address thinking, hey, come join my Minecraft server, not knowing you had to get a host to host a server. And you know, Brandon was real quick to comment and tell me that give me a Skype and then, you know, he had a Minecraft server and pff, Brandon Man Longhorn 8, let's just say that was the wild server. It's a wild server. And that eventually led into me meeting Marble and led into me joining Fortress Craft and meeting Marcus and Bilbo and Sam and Wes and Liam and Ethan. Who else? Oh God, I feel like I'm forgetting people. Jeremy, right? Yeah, Jeremy do. And from that, me and Marcus went to Dark Frost. I met Manta Ray. McMuffin, I think his name was. Hyper. Oh, dude, I miss Hyper. Hyper was a cool dude. Uh, shit. Vertigo. Oh, God, 
God, there, there was just, I, I met so many people through Minecraft, it's actually insane to think about, you know, like this just small Minecraft niche on YouTube has led to me meeting some of the coolest people I've ever met. I still keep in touch with Marcus from time to time, and I'll, I try to keep in touch with as many people as possible, but, you know, around the time I was in Fortress Craft and Dark Frost, I met Andy, Andrew Yalo, if you guys haven't seen any of his videos, he's, he's, he's crazy at what he does. And he's an absolute genius with a camera, you know, mad respect to him. Cleanup crew was a gangster. I think I still have that contract somewhere. I signed, literally signed a contract at like 14 years old saying I was going to create content with these guys. And, you know, met Brendan and Sean and Jeremy. Jeremy Locks killing it in a band right now. Who could forget Zooning himself? I met Andy and I met Ryan at VidCon, which led to me meeting Teo and Spencer and Godiva and Jordan, and Savannah, and Nina, I think her name was. That was a whole experience. First time flying, went out to California, saw all these YouTubers and stuff, it was crazy. I met Sky Does Minecraft. Shortly after that, my friend Nate introduced me to Dak Ombre. That completely flipped everything. It, it just, it clicked immediately, and that's my dog, that's my brother. He's the only one that's really stuck around, keep making videos, you know, in high school, I had a few, I mean, you know, obviously you get, you got high school friends and stuff, but everybody wanted to make videos of me then, still kind of made videos with me after high school. I helped a lot of people start YouTube channels. Nobody really wanted to put in the work and really grind videos. I'm not specifically throwing anybody out there. I'm just saying, you know, don't say you want to make YouTube videos and then not make YouTube videos. Just saying, you know, I mean, I've only been doing this for 12 years, guys. But no, me and Dak went to Virginia Beach with Jonah, and we just, we had a time, and we just started making videos ever since then. We'd wake up at like 3 o'clock in the morning, head to McDonald's, get two McChickens and a vanilla iced coffee, come back to my house, film like four videos for the day, and then boom, 2 o'clock. We did that every single day. We did that, like, all the time. And it was such a great time. I think that's one of my favorite eras of my YouTube channel. I went a little bit off the timeline. I kind of forgot to mention the whole Call of Duty era joining Endless and with Alley Effects and Framework giving me the shout out and Matthew Rise giving me a shout out and meeting House of Cray and everything like that, which was a whole other time. Which that that was really I think that was really like the first like uphill with my YouTube channel, I think, because everybody at school found out about it. All the teachers were watching it. Everybody's talking about it. I was taking my shirt off in random establishments. I really ran before I walked, to be honest. Started my music career here on YouTube, and not even on this channel. I've literally documented some moments in my life. Like the first time my cousin was pregnant, I have that on camera. I was like, can I announce this? And she's like, yeah. And then I made it really awkward, but you know, I think those are still up somewhere. I'll have to see if I can find the channel. Maybe I could react to some of those videos. I don't know. Yo, so making videos for 12 years, I kind of left out a few people. I realized that and I just, you know, I tried to mention everybody, but I left out some of the most important people, you know? I just want to give a big thank you to my parents for always supporting my YouTube channel. Being in some of my YouTube videos, my dad has made some of the greatest cameos of all time in my videos. And I've made some cameos in his videos as well. And it's, it's fun. That's like one of the best parts, I think, is making videos with my family. Back in the day, making videos with Kristen and stuff like that, my little sister, uh, there was, there's a few. I remember making a couple Call of Duty videos with her. She's been in, she's been in a few different videos. She's also helped me film a lot of videos, you know, she saw some pretty weird stuff. Especially filming the White Sox music video, you know. Sorry, Kristen. My mom never really wanted to be on camera that often, but she was on camera for a couple videos and they turned out pretty funny. You know, we played Smash Bros. And she did a couple challenges, I think, on my channel back in the day. And she's also been super supportive, you know. Like, in, in school, she wanted me to, to get good grades and all this stuff. And I just... All I cared about was making YouTube videos and she helped me out with a lot of stuff You know, she got me stuff for challenges gave me video ideas stuff like that So I, I really do appreciate all of that. You know, it's awesome and my aunt Wendy my uncle Mark watching my videos They still tune into my live streams and they check out the mad Viking live streams when I go live over there sometimes And you know, it just it means a lot and Wendy's also helped me with a lot of videos, too She's been in a couple vlogs. Clay has been around for, for the long haul. You know, 2017, I think, we played Fortnite together on a live stream. And, 
you know, we kept in touch a little bit after high school and then crazy how Dak ended up working with Clay and then Clay ended up in Grind Gaming and then here we are as a trio running it. And who could forget Ashley, you know, the, the fourth Grind member. She streams off and on, definitely go check out Snowfall and Onyx. She's a great friend of mine. She's helped out with all kinds of stuff, Grind Gaming and you know, just videos in general. And last but certainly not least, thank you to my girlfriend for always putting up with my craziness and my um, just insane mindset of trying to get these videos out and just putting up with me you know i complain a lot i stress a lot and uh yeah i, I just thank you thank you babe i appreciate you and i love you and she's also been in a few videos and they've been pretty awesome you know i remember our first video together we tasted a bunch of foreign snacks from jungle gyms in cincinnati and i mean that was that was an awesome trip and we had a bunch of crazy stuff to try and it was awesome. So go check out that video. And my mom also has a bunch of foreign stuff for us to try. So let me know if you wanna see those videos if you're watching to this point. But all I gotta say is these last 12 years has led up to where I'm at now. And I'm extremely blessed to be working for Mad Viking. And you know, it's all thanks to East Coast Viking, which was really the first ever fully scripted mini TV show type video I've ever made and it's it's really rough like you know people say it's funny and I, I can't take a compliment to save my life you know people tell me like I'm good at something and then I feel like a complete like I feel like a I don't know how to say this without being controversial <laughs> it's almost like everybody like feels bad for me so they compliment me that's how I live my whole life I basically feel when people compliment me they just kind of feel bad it's like oh man he's been doing this for 12 years yeah that's a good video man you I don't know how you haven't blown up yet that's how I feel about every single compliment I get other than my beard like I know my beard's pretty you know I'm like Fuck yeah you know I got a, got a cool beard <clears throat> but yeah I don't know you know I uh I genuinely try at this. This is one of the only things that I've really applied myself to is just filming and editing small little videos, try to make people laugh or, you know, feel something. I played sports in school, didn't really care for it. Tried 4-H one year. That was a train wreck. I was such a nervous dumbass when it came to judging. Right after my bike wreck, my face was all scratched up and stuff like that so I couldn't make it to the fair and then I'd like was just the most very nervous closed off kid that was sweating through a shirt trying to explain how my how I I built a picture frame my dad totally didn't build that whole thing for me and I, I claimed that I did it but yeah I don't know I, I guess YouTube's kind of always been the spot that I feel like I can be myself because I don't have to see reactions or analyze people's faces when I say things. I am an insane super analyzer. So if I've ever talked to you and I hit you the wrong way, nine times out of 10, I was probably thinking about how my face looked and I didn't want to look crazy, but I felt crazy thinking about it. So I'm getting way off topic here, but hey, 12 years on YouTube, right? 12 years on YouTube. I've really been over on grind gaming primarily lately, just, pushing all of my energy towards that. I feel like last year on this channel, drawing every single day for 365 days straight, it, it really burnt me out, man. I ain't gonna lie. You know, if you ever see a 365 day challenge and you think that shit's easy, it is not, okay? There was plenty of nights where I would get extremely mad and I probably gave Callie the ick because I didn't want to get up and draw my silly little picture in my sketchbook. There are some decent drawings that came out of that and I'm I'm honestly happy that I did it because I can look back at it and see all these drawings that I made in 2023 and you know kind of think of where my life was at at that point. But it was a lot to handle. It was a lot to handle with that and trying to manage uploading long form videos and you know still trying to make life work. <laughs> I got in a rhythm for a while and then I slipped up one day and I missed the drawing. And then after that, I was like, well, if I already missed one day, I can miss another. And I can, what's two days, you know? And then eventually I was a whole week behind. I had to grind out like four videos a day for like three days straight. It was, it was hell. It was hell. I'm not even going to sugarcoat it at all. It was, uh, it was a tough battle within myself to get these shorts out and i don't know i guess once i finished that and it hit 2024 i was like 
I gotta like chill out. My videos were kind of sporadic. I drew like a few people and then I just kind of dropped off. Callie even talked to me like she thinks I, I should take a break and this and that. And I was like, all right, you know, you're right. I should probably chill out because I really went hard last year. Yeah, it was <laughs> about two weeks after that. I was like, I want to bring Grind Gaming back. And, you know, I texted Dak, texted Clay, they were down. We, you know, I started pumping out the 15 videos that we had saved from like two years ago. And here we are, you know. 12 years after starting my YouTube channel, I'm grinding still. I'm not giving up on this. This is like, you know, I, I I don't know how to explain it. I try to take a break because I feel like my brain is just scrambled. But when I take a break, all I can think about is wanting to make a video or wanting to just create something and put it out. Like, it's, uh, I don't know, like, I mean, I'm not complaining, but I'm also, like... I don't want to say concerned, but like, you know, is that, is that a normal thing or is that like just uh, uh, a creator thing or like what the hell, you know? Because I'll admit, sometimes it stresses me out and not in like a bad way though. Like I know this is what it takes. Like you kind of have to be stressed to do the certain things to get you to where you're wanting to be, but it's like f***ing hell, dude. Be up until 2 a.m. editing a video, and it's like, geez, it's all the name of the game. Will I end up uploading on here consistently again? As of right now, I can't 100% say. I don't want to say can't guarantee because I, I, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I want to, but I think right now, living where I live in an apartment building makes it a little bit harder. Because, you know, at my parents' house, I could be as loud as I wanted. Like, everybody be at work or school, and I'm just at home, like, stole my thing. And it made it a little bit easier. But now I have, like, five neighbors to worry about. And, uh, you know, I, I'd hate to disturb them or cause any problems. So it's, it's hard for me to make the videos that I want to make. You know, like, I want to continue the Kaz series, or I want to do another East Coast Viking-type video if I can or like Boulder Cooks I've been wanting to bring that back for a while but the way the kitchen's set up and the way my neighbors are surrounding me it's just you know I I don't like making videos if I can't a hundred and ten percent put myself into it I don't know I don't know how to explain it because at the same time it's like why can't I just like change the way I make those videos you know I don't know we uh we're we're here for another year so might have to figure something out. Who knows? I'll be 25 next year. I'm a quarter, so I know that's not the greatest, <laughs> the greatest talk about my channel, but I just, I feel like drawing last year really kind of made me think of like, is that the type of videos that I really want to do? Because the entire reason I started doing drawing videos is because of me being in an apartment building. I had to think of another way to put my creative, you know, thoughts and brain out there without being too loud and too crazy and disturbing the neighbors and everything like that and i don't know like i mean the drawing videos didn't do bad you guys seem to enjoy those and i know nine times out of ten you guys are like oh upload what you want to do but i mean i i i can't really upload what i want to do so i'd rather do what people want to see for the time being until it's like you know and I know vlogs are cool. I like doing vlogs, and the vlog with Callie was awesome. I had a lot of fun doing it. It's just, like, I don't do much interesting stuff. You know, I feel like with vlogs, I gotta have some interesting shit going on for them to be as entertaining as I want them to be. But Dak is coming up soon, and uh, we plan on filming and streaming a lot with the Grind Gaming channel. Will we end up vlogging? Who knows? I might have to have a discussion with him about that, and see what the overall plan is because obviously when we get together and there's a camera involved some shit goes down it's it's a good time i mean who knows we might make another song trick or treat too i don't know i will say i am thinking about possibly publicizing all of my videos again i unlisted or privated a ton of them and i'm thinking about just saying screw it and putting them back out there uh you know it's it's at least two to three hundred videos I have unlisted or private right now and you know the OGs remember some of them I think all my Call of Duty videos are like pretty much unlisted and 
you know, my earliest video now is my 3DS unboxing, which I think you guys can still go to the playlist on my channel and see all those videos, but I'm thinking about just making them public because why the hell not? Because then I can just share them out and people will be like, whoa, that's you. Be like, yeah, that was me 12 years ago. Woo, you know. Anyway, thank you guys to everybody watching this you know if you've been involved on the channel i appreciate you like in high school with colton and zach and jacob and spencer and jariah and everybody from high school man like you you guys turned me into boulder and and helped me with a lot of my earlier stuff and i i really appreciate that and you know i i still think about you guys all the time i think about everybody that has ever helped me with this channel it, it really does mean the absolute world to me that people want to be in my videos or want to watch my videos or talk about my videos like it, it's it's truly surreal like i know i'm not that big of a channel but it, it still you know makes my day and honestly makes my whole life like I, i'm gonna remember making these videos and everybody who's, who's supported me through the way and i just i gotta say thank you you know 12 years two like like a whole other separate lifetime from the previous 12 years that led up to me making the youtube channel and it's awesome, you know, I owe it all to you guys, the Rock Squad, the old school, the Nintendo Boy 7 fans, the Boulder fans back in the day. Yeah, go wish my dad a happy birthday, go subscribe to him, all that stuff, go subscribe to Grind Gaming, follow us on Twitch, we're going to be over there grinding quite a bit, that's the, that's the plan, Stan. Keep your heads high, stay positive, keep on rolling, Rock Squad. I love you guys. Deuces.